All right. Looks like we are live. Hey, Jenko, what's up? <laughs> that, that was fast. Okay, so time to resume our video making. Let's let's take a look to see what we did the um, last. Okay, so in on today's Thursday, so on Tuesday, we did the uh, storyboard and the materials. Storyboard being the um, the comic style preview of uh what you call that of the video which we will be referring to as we make the video but we are not quite done with the materials yet so uh so far we have spent okay we have spent about 10 hours on this video so far so yeah i'm just gonna start the timer as we resume working on this so here we go okay so we still we st the other time we were we we did most of the materials we created the thumbnail we did take pic took pictures took video clips okay thumbnail is done let me just delete this away yeah let me just delete all the stuff that we we are done with the, this we are not exactly done with so just gonna leave it there first Okay, I haven't processed the um, snowflake picture, right? So, snowflake, snowflake. Let's go for GIMP and we're going to do snowflake. Hey, a human, what's up? Thanks for dropping by. Okay, basically, I estimate that we need two more sessions to finish everything. Uh, I won't be doing too long of a session today, perhaps two hours. And then one more session on Monday. I estimate that we would need one more session on Monday to finish the entire video. Okay, so first let me get Snowflake. Put this in here. But this Snowflake is just an empty... Uh, it is... What you call it? It's a black Snowflake. And um, wait, maybe I should trim it. <clears throat> and Snowflake is usually blue, so but but this is the base file, so I'll just keep it there. <clears throat> Let me just rename it to base. Yes, that works. Okay, so let's just pick color blue or something blue. Blue, yes. Some nice blue for Snowflake. Hey Flash, what's up? Okay, this this snowflake is looking a bit weird. Um, snowflake, what is the natural color of a snowflake? When we see them in pictures. Okay, so they are kind of bluish, bluish white. Uh, bluish white, bluish white, something like that. Yeah, yeah, this is better. Maybe let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. That's our bluish white. Okay, but still, this is going to look very odd on... Um, to use in, 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 uh, in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a background. I'm going to add a background to New layer outline. Doesn't really matter what I call it. Okay, let's just select, include this, grow by 15, okay, great. Okay, so pretty standard, I, I either you do a black or white outline like that. Should I have added that in? Let's try with and without the center being added in. Okay, there we go, uh, that's a no white snowflake that works white oh wait 
I want to trim auto crop. There we go. <coughs> And we're going to have a black one as well. Is this black? Yes. Okay, there we go. This is a black one with a black outline. Okay, and that's our snowflake. We are done with this. Okay, so the video processing, we haven't really seen, we haven't really touched on video processing yet. So that, that that's what we are going to do. Okay, video processing. We have some couple of clips, all these clips to uh, do as well as the runs. Oh, which one? The snowflake. The snowflake is for. I'm gonna talk about um, the guards being frozen. <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna use snowflakes to represent freezing. Okay, just gonna process this. Okay, this is straightforward. Uh, the freeze run. Okay, uh, let me just cut this video first. Okay, this video clip is showing how to grab, how to do the key card thing. Oh, why do we need a video? <laughs> why not? Because I'm doing YouTube, so yes, I need a video. Okay, so I'm watching the timing to see how much I want to clip. Okay, I think this works. Okay, so this is 7... I usually give a 10 second buffer, so 7... 13. Okay, 7.13 to about 8.15, 7.13 to 8.15, okay, so I have some uh, presets uh, basically on the video quality, so this is for 720p, 7.5 megabits per second, oh, uh, 8.15, what, what was that, 7.13, right, I usually write it down, but Okay, so um, yep, seven thirteen to eight fifteen. I usually give a little bit of time. Yeah. Okay, so seven thirteen. Uh, I'm gonna chop it here and go to eight eight fifteen and chop it here and crop. Oh, why is that? Why can't you watch stuff above? 10, uh, 360p uh, Anyway, I'm using virtual dub to do all my video processing the, the pre... not the video editing but the processing Okay So you see in my video folder I have a high and a low I'll explain that why I'll explain why later So um, Alternate Open Vault Alternate Okay, so that is one. Uh, I merely, I have merely queue up the. Um, let me just remove this. We're not going to do it. I merely queue up the jobs, but we're not processing it yet. So next one is okay. I I want to grab a open vault. Using the. Okay, not this one because this one has uh, the guard scene, the vault open, so... Okay, uh, 8.57 <laughs> Godzilla is outside your house Okay, so 8.57 857 to 1010 yes uh, 857 okay so to 1010 so these clips are gonna be used uh, at the end of the video you know usually I have 
clips for players to see how it goes. So this is just showing how to, um, yeah, this is, I'm basically processing a very short clip for the, the um, yes, well, I am not sure what I'm saying. Uh, processing clips for the end of video gameplay, yes. So this whole thing again, I have to process because you see it's actually a different size and the, um, this is actually 7 gigs, 7 gig. The data rate is very high, so I'm just going to lower it. Uh, I have to lower it also for reasons because it's going to be very hard to do the video editing with a very big file because my video editor um, processes and previews all these clips on the, on the fly. So with a very big file, it's going gonna, it's gonna to lag. Okay, gameplay, um, no freeze. And then we have gameplay freeze. Gameplay freeze. Okay, we have a couple more to process. No, not this one. This one, not this one. Uh, let's just keep. Okay, let's go back. Okay, I need one more from the warehouse to the helipad. Let's see which one is good to use. Warehouse to helipad. Okay, I need the one where I run back up to the helipad. Uh, this looks okay. Let's see if the other one is better. Okay, I, I, I could use this one, not a problem. So where does it start? 653, 550 to 653, 550 to 653. Uh, 550 to 653. Okay, so this clip, I'm, is gonna be a, I'm just gonna remove the uh, sound to no audio. I could do it within the editor as well, but it's gonna be a pain because I I'm definitely not having sound sound um in this audio warehouse to roof warehouse to hell. Yes. Okay, so yep, this is this is gonna be done. Next is okay. Let me just remove this. Okay, I have to process the other clips as well. Let's see. Do I need to cut it shorter? I don't want to have too long of a clip. The warehouse. You can probably okay, this is fine. Don't really, okay, this is fine as well. It's pretty short. Pretty short. <laughs> Scat man. No. Okay, this is fine as well. Uh, okay, I can keep this. I don't really want this, but we'll just keep it. Okay, it looks good. Uh, looks good as well. 30 seconds. Okay, this clip is a little longer. Yeah, okay, that works. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, this clip is a little long. I don't want to be searching through the uh, video clip when editing so let's just clean it clean this one up a little okay so um, about 25 I don't have to remind you every hostage is an asset 
Are you sure the call came from here? Okay, this one I will have to do a little bit of cleanup. So from 25 seconds all the way to the end. Uh, wait. Oh yes, I have a solo the vault clip. Okay, forty seconds, not too bad. Don't really have to clean. Don't really need to clean that up. Okay, so all these videos are good. Okay, so I have uh six of the clips ready to clean up. Let me just do the rest. Okay, so this is a easy batch operation, batch wizard. So that I don't have to do them one by one. Okay, video high and I'm just gonna paste this here. Uh I already have one okay, murky near vault I've already added in. So there we go. Resave and there we go. All the clips that we need to process. Let's just Okay, so uh Usually for processing of these clips, this can take a little bit of time. Maybe depending on how many clips you have, how long, how how good your computer is. Uh, I'll usually leave this to run. Uh, go have m uh, my dinner, go shower. Uh, I could leave it running overnight as well. So, yeah. So yep, <laughs> I'm letting this process on on live is gonna take a little bit of time. Maybe I should just process this on my own time instead of having you guys wait here. Let me move this down. Okay, earlier some of the clips we saw that there's a little bit of lag. Hopefully, okay because. Uh, are you sure we can see that that is a little bit like it isn't really at full 60 fps hopefully it is hopefully it's yeah you see the lag there okay i suspect it's because i'm streaming and recording at the same time so yeah it's hope it's not that noticeable in the final video but oh well we'll just leave it be Okay, so we have all our clips, all our materials are done. That's good. I'm done with... Let me just delete stuff that I don't need. Um, materials, notes, outline, I could... Okay, they're just text files, I'll just leave it. Okay, materials, we're done. Time spent out is separate. Okay. So should I count this into our where's my mouse? Should I count this into our total time? It isn't exactly part of is it? Anyway I have to process it twice. Uh, I'm gonna process it twice. Uh while it's processing, I'm just gonna share why I process it twice. <laughs> what did I say? Okay, so while, while the video clips are processing, I'm just gonna speak a little about um, why I have two different settings, one high and a low. Okay, so usually I, I'll copy all the files out. So for example, let's say I, I have these two clips. I would place them here. And when I'm doing the video editing, I will use the files here. And so why do I do that? Why do I have two different settings, high and low? Okay, so during the editing, I would use low. It's because the video editor um, processes, they do the preview of the clips on the fly. They do not preload it into the memory. So if the, the file is too big or too high of a quality, the preview is going to lag. Which means I can't really edit properly because I do not know if the timing and everything is smooth, is the flow is right. 
And so what I do is I I make an exact I make a copy of these clips but in a lower resolution and I would use them. And just before I process the final clip, I'll close the video editor. I will copy the high one to replace all the low quality one. So that when I open the video editor again, load up the video project, it, I do not have to repoint um, the clips. If I have 10 clips, they will ask me, oh, uh, I can't find this. Uh, the video editor is unable to find the file. Would you like to locate it manually? And if there are 10 clips, it's going to be a huge border. So instead, I do it this way. Uh, we'll see more of it in during the actual video editing. Uh, not now. Yeah. Okay, this is really going to take a while. This is really going to take a while. <laughs> yep, definitely gonna take a while. Okay, in the meantime, let me just see if there's anything we could do first ahead of time. The but that is going to kind of count as um Okay, so what I can do is I could I could process some of these clips first so we can go ahead and start on video editing okay tell you what guys I am going to pause the uh, timer I'm gonna pause the timer and I'll just take it that the materials part is uh, we are done with this section so let me just pause that okay pause let me just save down I mean it's fair right we we can't really count um the um the processing as part of the uh, making of the video i mean we could but it doesn't really make much sense because i want to count the uh, human effort okay so let's continue the time and i'm gonna okay no that's not right okay let's just put it as that okay we're gonna start the video editing but uh, before that, let me just rearrange so that we could use the, the clips that we need to first. Okay, so I need a helicopter arriving. Okay, I'll do the gameplay last. I'll do the gameplay last. This one I'll postpone and postpone. Okay, this is not going to take very long. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more clips. Yep, just six more clips. Okay, so let's let me just let's just refresh what we are going to do with the storyboard. So the opening part, while I'm talking, I'm going to be talking with the thumbnail in the front. Then we have the helicopter arriving. Um, enter the compound and I gotta pause at the part where Bane says stuff then uh, there's gonna be a picture we're gonna use we have our pictures the two zones this is the picture we will be using I'm gonna be pointing and pointing yep that's my cat and then a clip of walking onto the helipad and uh, and whatnot and then this is where we have a little bit of animation. Animation, uh, animating depends on how hard we're animate, how, how difficult of an animation. Um, yeah, but but if it is more trouble than just simply putting on a clip and adjusting the timings. But animation helps to explain stuff better because uh, you you yeah, it's it's not easy to explain with a. Uh, just a gameplay clip okay and then run up to the helipad from warehouse that was the clip we were trying to grab earlier then uh, the open vault image and then here is where we did a cutout I'm gonna have I'm gonna use it to explain the spawns then the frozen guard okay so so this is where I have the frozen guard the balcony image and then the snowflake 
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then some animation. I forgot what is this, but... Yeah, there's going to be some animation here. This uh, <laughs> reminder. Okay, opening the vault solo. How to do it. The 10 second thing. You know, the key cards. How we get the key cards. Then uh, the, a clip of solo in the vault. And then some animation here. <laughs> some silly little animations here. And then playing off some clips. And that's mostly it for the storyboard. Okay, we are almost done. Two more clips. For the high resolution, we're going to do a low resolution one as well. So, yep, we'll be done with this soon. Okay, I'll do the gameplay another time because most likely we as in the I'll do the converting of the gameplay clip some other time. Uh because most likely we won't have enough time to cover it today. Unless the editing goes really fast then yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that guys. <coughs> Lots of phlegm. Okay, so we're done with the high, less time to convert it to the low. Just load the um, low settings. This is the uh, 7.5 megabits per second. Now it's 1.5. Same thing. Queue a batch run. Batch wizard. These are all the files we want. I'm going to throw them here. And I want to put them in this folder. So we save. Okay. So that adds to the queue. I'm going to start. Processing a little bit more of the boring stuff. It shouldn't take too long. So, once this is done, we'll go ahead with uh, video editing. Okay, so let me just prepare the materials for video editing. Uh, Do I still need this? Okay, the, so these are all process I could delete it because this is just taking up space on my hard drive. Uh, do I... Am, am, am I done with it? I do not want to delete it and... and okay, this, this is fine. I could delete this. Uh, the gameplay one, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so this one can be deleted. 5 gig. There we go. Okay, so let me get my uh, stuff ready to edit. Okay, so we have our storyboard. Uh, we're going to need a script as well. We're going to be referring to the storyboard and script from time to time. Okay, and then... Um, in the assets folder because we'll be using all the um, common reusable assets okay so i usually have this to open i have the script so that i know what's going on and i have the storyboard as well okay so once this completes we are ready to start okay how many more one, two, three, four, five, six. Awkward silence. Random background noises. Okay, so <laughs> while we're waiting for this to finish, okay, just gonna continue on some on, on the video editing part. Okay, 
Uh, I'm fiddling through my paper notes. I'm trying to find. Okay, so so you guys notice that I I reuse um certain background music over and over again. The uh, more crasher music, the uh the various different heist stealth tracks that I reuse. So so I rotate it on a list. So um the the last the track that I use last was phony money the tech for my video process so for today's one we're gonna do we're gonna use let's go shopping let's go shopping is the mall crasher music so yeah we're gonna use that one let me just write it down solo shadow red bow and uh, Let's go shopping. Okay, so we're going to use that music. Okay, a few more files, four more files. <clears throat> three more okay so let me just show you guys my asset files <laughs> since it's still running okay so basically these are all the stuff that I can reuse I will reuse over and over again that's why I label in an assets folder let's, let's take a view of stuff Okay, so here we go. We have the achievement lock icon in case I need. We have the crime spree icon in case I need to reuse detection risk 75. <laughs> so so what were you doing? Listening to it in the to the stream in the background. Okay, then I have all the various uh difficulty icons as well. So where's my normal skull? Yes, the normal skull is here. Uh the death wish no the the death sentence which used to be called one down so this is the uh, death sentence icon payday 2 logo stealth icon then um like all the um these are the crew abilities that i could reuse as well for example inspiring all the crew abilities in case i need to use it <laughs> oh you're listening to scat man all right and then here, these are all the um, crew boost icons. Uh, in case I need to, uh, yeah. Uh, cutouts, cutouts. This is stuff that I use. Um, yeah, in the video. Uh, today we're gonna be using this particular cutout. Where, where is the one? Yes, this one, the murky one. Oh, we're done. Okay, so it's time to officially start our. Uh, video editing. So let me just start the timer. Three, two, one. Uh, okay, let me just reset that. Pause and um, edit splits. Okay, gonna remove this. And uh, no, I have to stop the whole thing, I guess. Uh, reset, yes. Reset, edit. Okay, so we're gonna start from video editing. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so this is my video video editor, BSDC free video editor. It's a free version. I, I did subscribe for one year. Uh one year pro subscription. Not that I really use the um, Pro. Okay, let's not update. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. New project. Solo Shadow Rate Vault Plus. And... Okay, I always do it. 720p, 60fps, straightforward and uh, blank project. Uh, publisher unknown like <laughs> copyright or whatever okay let me just save the file first 
Okay, so this is it. Okay, so the first part of the video always is the video intro. So here we go. Okay, let me lower the preview quality. So this is it. We'll, uh, we always have the uh, video intro. So this is it. And then a new scene. Okay, so. <coughs> Damn it. Okay, so where are we? Okay, let's throw in the voice. So the first thing I do is to throw in the voice and also to throw in the music. Because, um, okay, because recording the vocals will not be consistent. It may be louder sometimes, it may be softer sometimes. So the first thing I do is to check out the sound, how it, how it uh, matches uh, the background music versus the recording. Okay, so this one I have edited this the uh, let's go shopping music to be a perfect loop so let's say i i need to replay it again and again it loops perfectly and here we go this is the background oh wait let me delete this first okay so i have some volume notes which i always have okay so usually i uh, lower the volume so this one minus 25 okay time to test the the vocals <coughs> oh damn it uh, let me drink some water first in the meantime let's see um if the uh speaking and the uh, volume matches let me just increase the volume for you guys Hey guys, today we are going to do something which was once thought impossible. Solo the Shadow Raid Vault. Okay, the um, audio for the voice sounds a little soft. Uh, can we, we are able to hear a good bit of the um, background music. So let's try increasing the uh, voice. Hey guys. Today we are going to do something which was once thought impossible. Okay, this sounds Solo good. the shadow. But because I've increased the um, voice, you may hear some... Uh, I forgot what it's called. Static? Artifact? Okay, so volume's fine. Volume's fine. We are ready to start the um, editing proper. Okay, so let's first thing... So th th this is where we go with the uh, storyboard. In the meantime, let me copy all the um, low low res videos out here first. Okay, we're gonna be using this. These are all the low quality ones. You see, they are really tiny. Um, but at least the file size is really small, two megabytes. So um, the preview will be smoother. Although I can lower the preview, uh, but with a high quality file, it's still gonna, it's still gonna lack the preview. Okay, so without further ado, thumbnail, right? Thumbnail, straightforward. Where's the thumbnail? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have a two seconds fade in as always. Two seconds fade in. Okay, so first thing is, uh, okay, so the opening, right? It's gonna talk. This is gonna be speaking. And then it's gonna fade in into a video clip as we can see right here. So uh this straight first part is straightforward. Just need to figure out when to switch to the clip. Hey guys, today we are going to do something which was once thought impossible. Solo the shadow raid vault. But since an open but since vault, an open vault is suspicious and can alert patrolling guards, we would have to secure the warehouse first. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure the clip is already there. And to make that even easier, we'll learn the helicopter trick. When playing Shadow Raid, to make that even easier, so we'll when learn playing the Shadow helicopter Raid. trick. When play okay, so it's uh, it's the when playing Shadow Raid comes on at about twenty one seconds, so I'll make sure the clip is ready at twenty one seconds. And since I always use a two second fade in, I'm gonna two seconds before that's nineteen. Okay, which clip am I which clip am I using? Helicopter arriving. Okay, so when playing Shadow Raid, we'll hear announcement and so arrival helicopter. Okay, so here we go. Um 
helicopter. This is the clip. Great. Throw that in. Fade in two seconds. And as well as... Okay. So usually people ask me why um, Payday 2 is usually very dark. Why is the it like so trick. bright? When playing Shadow Raid, we'll hear and announce why is it so bright on my clips because I use an auto brighten, auto gamma here to brighten the clip. So we can see, yeah, it looks brighter with and without. Okay, this is the low quality one. Obviously, for editing, I'm just going to use a low quality one. Otherwise, we have a high quality one here later. But for now, yeah, we'll just stick with this. Okay, so now this part is uh, the helicopter arriving and then after that is the Bane's text. So let's see. When da, 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 first five minutes, we either get, oh, it's a 50, but for the rest, huh. Okay, so the video clip of the helicopter arriving is going to play for this entire thing. So let's see if it, it, it sounds, it looks good. The helicopter trick. When playing Shadow Raid, we'll hear an announcement and also the arrival of a helicopter sometime during the first five minutes of the game. And when that happens, we'll either get a container with a guaranteed artifact or worse, more murky water guards. Okay, it's taking too long, so I got to trim it a bit. 37 seconds, right? So 19 to 37, that is 18 seconds I could clip. Cutting and splitting, let me just clip off uh, 15 seconds first and then we see whether it fits. So usually I'll just trim little by little. I'll trim a bit by a bit to see if it fits. And to make that even easier, we'll learn the helicopter trick. When playing Shadow Raid, we'll hear an announcement and also the arrival of a helicopter sometime during the first five minutes of the game. And when that happens, we'll either get a container with a guaranteed artifact or worse, more murky water guards. It's a 50-50 chance to get either one. But fortunately, with this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually... Okay, that, that looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, having a lot of... Flam. What happens is that when... A okay, I could cut... <coughs> A few more seconds here. Let's let's see if that looks good now. And to make that even easier, we'll learn the helicopter trick. When playing Shadow Raid, we'll hear an announcement and also the arrival of a helicopter sometime during the huh. first five minutes of the game. And when that happens, we'll either get a container with a guaranteed artifact or worse more murky water guards. It's a 50-50 chance to get either one, but fortunately, with this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually happens is that when a play... Okay, so I want the next clip to be kind of like in at, at the 46. <clears throat> so at 46 seconds, I'm going to have the other clip. Uh, let me just clip one more uh, two seconds off here because it's taking too long okay so I want the clip to be in by 46 seconds so uh, with two seconds fade in same thing uh, we are gonna have a two two second fade in right two second fade in and auto brightness so according to our storyboard, this is enter the compound at pause and then we have an arrow at Bane's text. So yep, let's see. Let's let's see how this fits. We'll learn the helicopter trick. When playing Shadow Raid, we'll uh do what? Make a Discord. <laughs> what 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 am I gonna do with the Discord to be honest? Hear an announcement and also the arrival of a helicopter sometime during the first five minutes of the game. And when that happens, we'll either get a container with a guaranteed artifact or worse, more murky water guards. It's a 50 50 chance to get either one, but fortunately, with this trick, we can manipulate it. 
So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after, with an announcement happening 10 seconds before. Bane will also be... Uh, okay. I guess that looks fine so far. Um, okay, let, let me just see that again. But fortunately, with this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually happens is... Okay, it doesn't look as, as, as smooth. Uh, let us do one second back. But fortunately, with this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after, with an announcement happening 10 seconds before. Bane will also... Uh, okay. Okay, at least the um, transition is smooth here. Uh, okay, it's a little empty at this area. It's a little empty. I could add text. Okay, I could add some text. Um, I could add some text. Helicopter spawns. Helicopter spawns. Five minutes. After a player first enters compound. First enters compound. Uh, does it does this <clears throat> does this look weird? So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes. Compound. The helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 50.5. Um, I want the text to start coming in at 49 and a half. Okay, okay, now this is just an ugly, ugly compound. way. The helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after, with an announcement happening 10 seconds before. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. Okay, that, that looks... Okay, uh, obviously I'm not done with the font. Um, Do I want to do this like that? So what happens is that when a player first enters the compound, five minutes after with an announcement happening. Okay, I'm going to freeze the clip. I, uh, that clip, that, that looks really weird, so I'm going to... I'm gonna freeze the clip. With this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, first enters the compound, a player first, first enters, enters the, the compound. compound. Okay, so at 48 seconds, I'm gonna freeze the clip. Uh, 48 seconds, I'm gonna freeze the clip. That means it's going to be a five second clip, right? Uh, five second clip. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so this clip is gonna be five seconds, and uh, oh wait, I forgot to remove the thumbnail.
คทำเมดก่อนโอเคอ่าโอเค let me just open up another project okay so uh quick explanation of why I'm using a second project is because in the past uh in the older versions of this video editor there were no such thing as templates you couldn't uh save your templates if you're gonna reuse certain stuff so what I did was to create a uh, templates video to have all the um, stuff that I could reuse so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a uh, pause text right here here we go there's gonna be a pause text okay I'm trying to lengthen this clip here Okay, but of course this is not pause, this is a fast forward, so let's change it. <coughs> yeah, miscellaneous media buttons. Uh, pause. I usually use um, this. Hey Sante, what's up? Thanks for dropping by. Today we are finally doing actual uh, video editing. Okay, let's see how that works. 50 chance to get either one, but fortunately... Uh, give me a moment. Okay, let's see how this With works. this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after with an announcement happening 10... Okay, so that looks... Uh, that, that makes better sense now. Okay, how do I want to animate this part? Is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes. Okay, I want to say the helicopter spawns 5 minutes. Let's let's get the timing first up first. First enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5. Okay, 50 and a half is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after, with an announcement happening 10... Uh, this, this doesn't look right. Um, uh, okay, let me settle the timing before we settle how the... Uh, that when a player looks. first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes. Okay, this part looks good. The timing is good. Now we need to uh, work on the look. Th this this looks ugly, to, to be honest. Uh, uh, okay, what I'm trying... What, what am I at this text? Uh, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after with an announcement happening 10 seconds before... Uh, heli spawns three second five minutes five minutes uh heli spawns five minutes announcement happens four minutes Four minutes fifty seconds from here. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Okay, let me settle the font first. Um, usually I use a Goa UI, uh, bold it. Let's increase the uh, font size. Uh, too big. Uh, one nine fifty works and centralize it and um.
Okay, let's 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 try. <laughs> let's try this. It's a 50-50 chance to get either one. But fortunately, with this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after, with an announcement happening 10 seconds before. Pain oh. Okay, this, this looks a little empty to be honest. Um, the first clip looks a little empty. The helicopter trick. When playing Shadow Raid, we'll hear an announcement and also the arrival of a helicopter, sometime during the first 5 minutes of the game. And when that happens, we'll either get a container with a guaranteed artifact or worse, more murky water guards. It's a fifth. Okay, I'm gonna show a 50-50 text here. So, uh, at around 38, okay, one second before I'm gonna have it fade in. So, 50-50, um, right? 50-50 for... Artifact or reinforcements. Yeah, sometimes the um when the clip is too long, it, it looks kind of odd. It looks kind of odd um being empty. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some text. Guaranteed artifact. Or reinforcements. Hey Zoka Twin, what's up? Thanks for dropping by. Okay, so same thing, I gotta use the same font so that it doesn't look too too jarring. Um this one could be bigger. The 50-50 could be bigger. Okay, gonna have it fade in as well. Okay, let's see the timing if that works. Either get a container with a guaranteed artifact or worse, more murky water guards. It's a 50-50 chance to get either one, but fortunately with this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually happens... Okay, looks good. Uh, it isn't as empty as before. Uh, but I'm not done with this. Um, again, that looks a bit, a bit, a bit, what you call it? Looks a bit, um, not, not, not done. Okay, I'm gonna add a blur effect and gonna reduce, uh, make it darker here. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add blur. Okay, so adjustment. I'm gonna reduce the um. Gonna reduce the uh, brightness. Yeah, recover after auto gamma, two seconds. Um, from cursor position for two seconds. Uh, zero to hundred. Basically, this counteracts the uh, auto gamma, gamma uh, auto gamma here. So this is hundred percent. Lock to parent. Yes. <coughs> Okay, so as the text comes on, it will become darker. And of course, I want to add a blur effect as well. Filter box blur from cursor position again. 
um, two seconds, zero to 15, zero to 15. These are very common values that I always use. Fifteen, fifteen. So yep. So this is the effect that I'm trying to achieve. Let's take a look. Water guts. It's a 50-50 chance to get either one. But fortunately, with this trick, we can manipulate it. Hey, Slav Slayer, what's up? So what actually up? happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn five minutes after. Okay, so I, I think this part looks good. Um, did I get a timing right? Okay, the timing is right, so this part is fine. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the uh, the blurring, blurring of the uh, text. <coughs> okay, so this part we're talking about when a player first enters the compound, uh, the helicopter is scripted to spawn five minutes after. Uh. <clears throat> okay, so earlier I was showing this Right now I'm showing this Oh wait, what's going on? Okay, everything looks fine. Um, let me see, 60. Okay, let me get the timing first to see if the timing is right. Player first enters the compound. The helicopter is scripted to spawn five. When a player first, first enters, enters the, compound, the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn five minutes after, with an announcement happening ten seconds before. Pain will also. Uh, is this right? It's a 50 50 chance to get either one, but fortunately, with this trick, we can manipulate it. So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to sp Okay, let me see if this looks better um, half a second earlier. So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helic. Okay, let's try to see if it looks better half a second earlier. So I'm gonna have to wait. So I'm gonna have to um, cut off half a second of this clip. Okay, half a second. Cut. with this trick we can manipulate it so what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound the helicopter is scripted to spawn five minutes after with an announcement happening 10 seconds before the the, the, the text looks kind of odd uh, what can i do about this Okay, let's... <coughs> uh, my cat is being noisy again. Shh. 
Oh yeah. Shh. Okay, I'm gonna apply the same thing. I'm gonna apply um <laughs> yes, the cat. I'm gonna apply the uh blur and, and, and darkening here. So same thing, the, the um, blurring and darkening. But I'm going to unblur and undarken in just a bit. Okay, this looks good. Uh, maybe I should center it, huh? I should center the text. So oh, 720 and uh, 0. So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after, with an announcement happening 10 seconds before. Bane will also... Okay, so now, now it goes to Bane will also be telling us about the container at this point. 10 seconds before. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. Okay, so what I want to do is, uh, okay, wait, seconds before. Bane will... Okay, so at 55 and a half second, I want to be showing. I want to um, fade this out. Two seconds. Let's, let's test it out first. Okay, fade it out. Two seconds. <laughs> yes, the cat has a bell on their collar. That's why it's a little noisy. Okay, I want to fade this out. Mm, uh, two seconds. Let me just remove the lock. Okay, but that's going to be a bit jarring. Oh. Shh, quiet. Okay, so at this point, it's going to fade back out to the uh, video. The helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after with an announcement happening 10 seconds before. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. Okay, so for this part, I want to uh, zoom in. I want to do a zoom in and point an arrow at, point an arrow at the uh, text. Uh, transform zoom, there we have it. Zoom from a manual position, yes. Okay, let's see how much we want to zoom. 200. Wait, this doesn't look right. Oh, I'm zooming on the text. Why am I zooming on the text? I'm trying to zoom on the video. Uh, transform zoom. Okay, from, from cursor position, yes. <coughs> Okay, that doesn't look right. Let me first do the uh, blending first. Uh, source at top. Yes. Okay, I want to see the text. So, two hundred percent is is two hundred percent too big. Let let me lower. No, let me change the um, viewpoint first. Okay, I want to see the text. This is good. Yes, something like that. Um, 175? Okay, good. That's good. So now I'm going to copy the exact same thing. Except that it's only going to be 2 seconds long. And it's a gradual, so it's 100. It's going to change the values from 100 to 175. Okay, so this is the, the, the um, effect I'm going for. 
So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter script will spawn five seconds after with an announcement. So what actually happens is that when a player first enters the compound, the helicopter is scripted to spawn five minutes after with an announcement happening 10 seconds before. And then it's gonna zoom in. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. And right before the helicopter spawns, the game checks if two possible landing zones are valid. Okay, so, so this part is good. I'm just gonna add in an arrow to point at the text. Uh, okay. It's a bit blur, but this part is the container, so I'm gonna have an arrow pointing at this part containers. So let's go to my pictures and stuff, miscellaneous arrows. Uh, you guys have, have are, are, um, are, gonna, are tired of seeing this arrow over and over again. I have been reusing this arrow <laughs> way too many times. So, yep, I've been using this arrow many, many times. Oh, this arrow is supposed to be outside, not here. So yeah. Okay, that's too big. Let's try 300. Okay, that's good. And I want to rotate it. Whole parent duration. Oh, nice. They, they gave me a good rotation. Okay, so let's take a quick look to see how it looks. A player first enters the compound. The helicopter is scripted to spawn 5 minutes after, with an announcement happening 10 seconds before. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. And right before the helicopter... Okay, so you guys see a slight lag, right? With all the um, effects going on, there People is a also be telling slight us about the containers lag at in the animation. Point. Uh, that is why I'm using low resolution clips. Uh, it could it could be worse as well. Uh, I could I could lower it even more so that to see it happening as smooth as possible. First enters the compound. So yeah, it's gonna the helicopter be really low is scripted quality. to spawn five minutes the quality after is gonna be really with bad. an announcement happening ten seconds before. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. And right before the helicopter. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. And right before... Uh, I think the, um, the arrow appearing suddenly is kind of weird. Let's try a two second fade in. Seconds before. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. And right before the helicopter spawns, the game checks if two possible landing zones are bad. Point. Okay, so now this scene is done. <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> Again. Okay, so now we are going to switch to an image. We are done with this first three parts. We are going to the uh, image part. Uh, image of both of the zones. And right before the helicopter spawns, you check if the uh, two possible landing zones are valid. Four. Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. And right before the helicopter spawns, the game checks if two possible... Okay, I want the picture to come in by 102. Let's, let's try that. Let's try that first. 102. Uh, two seconds to fade in. So, where's the image? Okay, here's the two zones. Uh, obviously, above the um, arrow fade in two seconds okay let's see if this picture is too dark uh, I could improve the brightness again auto gamma okay that's a little bit too bright I guess we can do without okay we will do without okay let's check the timing first to see if the timing is right happening 10 seconds before Bane will also be telling us about the containers at this point. And right before the helicopter spawns, the game checks if two possible landing zones are... Okay, let me go back to the... <laughs> let me increase the quality again. This is really weird to look at. Okay, so the timing looks good. Timing looks good, definitely. Uh, let me clear off the um, other un stuff that... 
is already used. Okay, let's see if this is correct. It'll be telling us about the containers at this point. And right before the helicopter spawns, the game checks if two possible landing ding, zones ding. are valid. Okay, that is what I want to do. Obviously, I want to show we don't the, want uh, the extra check. murky possible at this point. So when the text and right goes before to, the helicopter um, spawns, the game checks if two, two possible landing, zone. landing ding, zones are ding. valid. Yeah, so let me of see the time. Spawns, the game checks if two possible landing zones are valid. So uh based on the timing is one and tr one zero three and a half and four. Something like that, one zero three and a half. So I'm gonna show two check marks. Okay, here we go. Check mark. <coughs> oh, I need lozenges, man. I need lozenges. This is. <coughs> okay, that this is too big. Okay, the first one looks looks fine. I guess here is fine. And um, the second one is going to be here. Let's reduce it to 200. No, 150. Okay, 150 is good. Okay, so timing wise, uh, it's going to be... Yeah, let's try. For the helicopter spawns, the game checks if two possible landing zones are valid. Okay, the timing is not good. Oh, wait, wait, where did... Okay, let's see if the timing... For the helicopter spawns, the game checks if two possible landing zones are valid. Obviously, we don't want the extra murkies and pages, so we'll disable the reinforcement land. Obviously, we don't want the extra murkies and pages, so we'll disable... Okay, so 109 and a half is gonna this one is gonna become a, a no yeah I have this uh, 150 I'll, I'll use it 72463 72463 150 150 okay so I'm just gonna replace this Okay, again, let's see if the timing works. Uh, we could add some sounds later. Uh, we may want to add or not add any sounds. Before the helicopter spawns, the game checks if two possible ding, landing ding. zones are valid. Obviously, we don't want the extra murkies and pages, so we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. Okay, that feels a little bit early. Uh, just gonna adjust a little bit. Let's try... 100 milliseconds keys and pages so we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone okay that that, that, that looks good okay do we want sound I, uh, let, let's just have some fun and add a little bit of sound right I have a ding sound so Okay, let's use this dollar, this dollar ding, ding number two. Okay, here we go, ding. The placement doesn't really matter. Okay, let's hear if the dings work well. Copter spawns, the game checks if two possible landing zones are valid. Oh wait, what's wrong with the timing? Okay, I can't. St uh, the yeah, thing is too small, so let's zoom in. Okay, this one is gonna be here. If two possible landing zones are valid. Okay, it sounds a little too loud, so we're just gonna reduce the volume a little bit. The game checks if two possible landing zones are valid. Obviously, we don't want the extra murkies and pages, 
so we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player to walk onto the... Okay, so we are... Uh, this part looks good. The We show the, both the zones. So now, let's see. To do so, so we want to disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player to walk on to the half of the helipad closer to the spawn and wait. So right here, we are using a video clip again. A video clip, right? So yeah. Uh, let me zoom out first. Okay, let's see the timing. The game checks if two possible landing zones are valid. Obviously, we don't want the extra murkies and pages, so we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player to walk. Okay, I, I don't really have an exact grasp on the uh, timing. Let's just go with at the 13 second to have the clip come in. Uh, which clip are we using? Walk in and out of the helipad. This is the one. Okay, so fade in two seconds. Uh, and um, auto brighten as well. Because payday 2 is generally very dark in game. Okay, timing. Timing check. And pages. So we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player to walk onto the half of the helipad closer to the spawn and wait. Bear in mind this zone works in a peculiar way. It's disabled when a player walks in. Okay, so so let's test the timing of the fade in of the clip again. And pages. So, so we'll disable the reinforcement again. landing zone. To do so, all we Okay, it feels a little late. Let's do one second earlier. Doesn't feel as natural. And pages. So we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player. Okay, timing is good. Uh, this this one looks a bit too late. So let me just in. yep. Let me just fix this. One, two, three, three frames. This one needs three frames duration. One, two, three. Okay. Let's try that. And pages. So we'll disable the reinforcement. Oh, wait, that's, that's weird. Oh, why did I add three frames? I'm supposed to reduce by three frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Thing zones are valid. Obviously, we don't want the extra murkies and pages. So we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player to walk onto the half of the helipad closer to the spawn and wait. Okay, so this is good. Uh, just need to cut a little. That's... Okay, let me just let me just do a simple five second cut first. Uh, usually I'll just do a trial and error, just cut a little, cut a little, and then zones are valid. And then once obviously it's perfect, we don't I'll want stop. the extra murkies and pages. So we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player to walk onto the half of the helipad closer to the spawn and wait. Bear in mind. Okay, so we need to cut a few more seconds. Let's try three. One, two, three. I'll try to have the movements in the video coincide with my speech. Landing zones are valid. Obviously, we don't want the extra murkies and pages. So we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player to walk onto the half of the helipad closer to the spawn and wait. Okay, that, that looks almost okay. Um, just a half a second adjustment should be fine. Disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, all we need is a player to walk onto the half of the helipad closer to the spawn and Okay, I can't make up my mind. Half a second earlier or half a second late. Let's, well, the reinforcement <laughs> landing zone. Let's see that again. To do so, all we need is a player to walk on. Okay, half a second earlier it is. Half a second. And cut. So we'll disable the reinforcement landing zone. To do so, 
all we need is a player to walk onto the half of the helipad closer right, to the that spawn looks and really wait. natural bear in mind this zone works in a peculiar way is disabled when a player walks in okay so the next part is um disable when a player walks in and enable when a player walks out hmm Okay, I'm gonna use the same clip because uh, yeah, yeah, it's essentially the same clip. Let me copy first. Bear in mind, this zone works in a peculiar way. Is disabled when a player walks in and enable and wait. Of course, Kong. I'm, of course, I'm. Bear in mind, doing. this zone works in a peculiar way. Is this? Uh, 123, let's try 123. Uh, what, what do you mean I'm doing this? Of course I'm doing this. I'm going to be doing this for another 20 minutes or so. Uh, yep, another 20 minutes or so for this session. Okay, let me just get rid of all this first. Okay, the uh, two zones image as well. Okay, so this part fades in. Um, I'm gonna have a text disable, disable, and um, full screen centralize. Centralize, centralize, centralize. Should I? Okay, gonna use back the same text. Okay, so so I I plan to have the text a little bit of translucent, right? Translucent. Now let me increase the size first, and uh, probably at the top. Should I make it translucent, or could I just leave it like that? Uh, let's let's increase the font. Okay, I I don't want the um the uh text to be too jarring because it's it's uh white, so let's make it a little transparent. Okay, let's make it maybe like yes this looks good 50% transparent uh, add a con contour black oh this is looking good okay let's test the clip in mind this zone works in a peculiar way is disabled when a player walks in and enabled when up. Okay, time to cut a little again. Uh, two seconds. Okay, is that too quick? Is disabled when a player walks in and enabled. Is, is disabled when a player walks in and enabled when a player walks out okay if the clip is too short if the timing is too short for the clips i may opt to put it into two side by side images instead uh otherwise viewers can catch this zone what is works going on. in a peculiar way is disabled when a player walks in and enabled when a player walks out wait how Okay, the timing seems a little. Uh, the timing seems a little. Uh, what you call it? A, a little too short. 
Okay, let's let's try this again. Maybe I would show the clip earlier by two seconds. Let's see how it works. Helipad closer to the spawn and wait. Bear in mind this zone works in a peculiar way. It's disabled when a player walks in and enabled. Okay, this this could work. This could work. Helipad closer to the spawn and wait. Bear in mind this zone works in a peculiar way. Is disabled when a player walks in and and Okay, so the next clip I want to show is uh one twenty six ish. Let me just duplicate that first. Um, one twenty six. Uh, let me just change the text to enable. No, not 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 you. Okay, yes you. Uh, enable. Okay, you couldn't see because it's, it's um, invisible. Okay, let's test the timing again. Spawn and wait. Bear in mind this zone works in a peculiar way. It's disabled when a player walks in and enabled when a player walks out. Wait, how is that peculiar? Well, okay, looks good. All I need to do now is... Okay, maybe let me try half a second earlier spawn and wait bear in mind this zone works in a peculiar way is disabled when a player walks in and enabled when a player walks out wait how is that peculiar okay good so now uh the clip the clip is looking good let me just fix the uh, thing here and this one here and I need to cut it to show the uh, walking out, right? Obviously, so. Okay, that's the walking out. So again, a little bit of trial and error in the cutting. Add closer to the spawn and wait. Bear in mind this zone works in a peculiar way. It's disabled when a player walks in and enable when a player walks out. Wait, how is that peculiar? Well, it doesn't sound peculiar at... Okay, let's cut half a second. Uh, uh, let's cut one second and see how it works. Add closer to the spawn and wait. Bear in mind this zone works in a peculiar way. It's disabled when a player walks in and enable when a player walks out. Wait, how is that peculiar? Well, it doesn't sound peculiar at all with a single player. Okay, so we've gotten um, this part and we're going to go with the next part, right? To show uh, what happens when multiplayer. But but at this point, you see that it's a little bit empty. Box out. Wait, how is that? Okay. It's disabled when a player walks in and enabled when a player walks out. Wait, how is that peculiar? Well, it doesn't sound peculiar at all with a single player. Okay, so this part, wait, how is that peculiar? Uh, well, it doesn't sound peculiar at all with a single player. Okay, so this part, it feels a bit empty if I were to leave it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a huge question mark and I'm going to darken the whole thing. So, walks out. Wait. Okay, so I just need here, walks out. Wait. Okay, so it's about 1.29 to 5. Uh, we can adjust the timing. So let's go with the uh, text first. Huge question mark. Here we go. Uh, full size, center. Let's go TGL, ink shrift. Uh, bigger, no. 2.56, 5.12. Yes, huge as huge as possible okay let's test the timing first is disabled when a player walks in and enabled when a player walks out wait how is that peculiar okay looks good now all i need is to add a there's a few ways to do a overlay darkening 
thought I could do the darkening here. Yes, I'm gonna do the darkening here. Uh, darkening and blur again. Okay, let me just copy it from the previous clips because I already have the effects there. This is uh, gonna save me a little bit of effort. No, not here. Video clip. Yes, the uh, un. This one and this one. Okay, so that's gonna have the auto blur and auto recover of the gamma, which is basically to undo the auto brightness so it becomes dark. There we go. So, wait. How is this peculiar? Okay, so it doesn't seem as blank, uh, 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 as empty. Like the, the the video clip is just running in the background while you hear the script. So this gives the viewer a little bit of stuff to look at. Add closer to the spawn and wait. Bear in mind, this zone works in a peculiar way. It's disabled when a player walks in and enabled when a player walks out. Wait, how is that peculiar? Well, it doesn't sound peculiar at all with a single player, but with multiple players, two can enter. Okay, so that's that's great. So we are ready to transition into this. So next, we need the uh, an image of a helipad from top. Let's let's get that. Okay, timing. Let's see the timing. Oh. Wait, how is that peculiar? Okay, I want the picture to come in, but with multiple players, before it has to completely be in before the uh, two two players so yeah well it doesn't sound peculiar at all with a single player but with multiple players two can okay so i want a picture to be in by either 36.5 or 36 we can just let's let's try with 36 two seconds to fade in as usual so two seconds before that is 34 okay so i have two pictures one is closer one is further let's see which one is easier better for okay let's take the closer one okay fade in as usual player walks in and enabled when a player walks out wait how is that peculiar well it doesn't sound peculiar at all with a single player but with multiple players two can enter to disable and then unknowingly re-enable when one exits, causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Okay, good. So, so the next scene is with uh with the helipad image, right? Helipad image, we're gonna have a green box, and then uh we're gonna animate two players going in, and then show that it's disabled. And um, then one player animated to come out and re-enable the box. Uh, let's go for the box first. Just gonna draw a, a, a simple green rectangle. And in the meantime, let me just queue off the, the text and the clip. Okay, let's see if, if this one is, the, the, this part is right. Okay. Is disabled when a player walks in and enabled when a player walks out. Wait, how is that peculiar? Well, it doesn't sound peculiar at all with a single player, but with multiple players. Okay, great. There we go. Uh, let me just uh, disable the fade in first so we can draw the rectangle nicely. Okay, rectangle, rectangle. Uh, I'm trying to showcase the half, right? Half of. Oh, that's not very pretty, um, as in, it's slanted. But I don't think I will be... Okay, let's just, just do it a little like that. Okay, so, yeah, we're just gonna do the... Um, just gonna do the colors. So, let's increase the thickness. And change this to green. Kind of like using green. And then, uh, this is really ugly, so we're gonna do some transparency here. Make transparent. Alright, 50% looks good, but, but maybe more? 70%? Yeah, this, this looks great. 
Okay, so this rectangle looks great now. Okay, now we, we need to animate two guys going in. I have a few options I could use. I could use uh, cutouts. I could use cutouts um, in terms of player. I could, for example, I could use two of these guys. I'm going to show him animating in. Of course, not, not, not that huge. Not that huge, of course. Uh, smaller, smaller. Uh, height, maybe 200. No, 250 pixels. Okay, so I could animate this guy going in and going up. This is one of the icons I could use, but I would very much prefer to use this. Yes, this is... I think I would very much prefer to use this. Okay, let's flip it around first. Uh, let us flip it. It, it doesn't look right. Um, where's the flip? Flip, 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 yes. Okay, not vertical, horizontal fit. And size, let us go with uh, 200, 200. Is it, is it too big? Uh, 175, 175. Okay, perfect. Okay, looking very good right now. Okay, I'm gonna put this within the um, helipad object itself. Okay, so when it fades in, it's gonna show like this. Um, okay, let me just adjust the uh, height to see how I would like it to look like. Okay, let me just do some calculations, I guess. Um, okay, 350, 600. And then I'm going to move it left a little. Kind of like proper numbers rather than random. Okay, very nice. Okay, with 350 height 600, this is where I'm a little uh, particular about stuff. 650 uh, divided by 2, 325 minus 175 divided by 2, so that's 75. 75, 75 and 87.5, 75 and 87.5, so. Uh, left plus 87.5 oh no okay the um this timer thing isn't showing properly Okay, so oh shoot, where where was I? I'm lost. Okay, um, two hundred and ninety-one plus eighty-seven point five. Yes, plus eighty-seven point five, three seven eight point five. Uh, three seven eight point five. Yes, I'm very particular about this. Five, and that's seventy-five, right? So forty-nine plus seventy-five. 49 plus 75, that makes it 1, 2, 4. Okay, there you go. There, there it goes perfectly in the center of half of the box. <laughs> you, me, and the cat. I, I think there's more. I think I count six people. At least it's showing six. Oh, it's showing three. I think there's someone, maybe there's some watching on Twitch, who knows. Okay, that, let me continue with this. Uh, 
Okay, I'm starting, trying to plus 75, right? So 600. 349 plus 75. 424. Uh, that doesn't look right. Oh, wait, that doesn't look right. Okay, uh, 300 minus 175 divided to, oh, 62.5. So 62.5 plus 49 should be 111.5 for this. Yes, plus 300, 411.5. Is that right? Okay, that looks right. Um, so I want to show it 350 pixels away. So uh, 378.5 plus 350, that will be 728.5. Okay, going to show some animation here. 728.5, 728.5. Okay, let's look at how, how this thing starts again. So two people can enter at the same time to enable. Uh, to Doesn't disable. sound peculiar at all with a single player, but with multiple players, Two can enter to disable and enter at all with a single player. But with multiple players, two... Okay, so they are going to start moving at 136. Close to 37. 1... Uh, 3, 6, 7, 5. Okay, so I'm going to move two of these icons. Um... Okay, I guess I'm gonna do um, two seconds. Two seconds to move, so here we go, two seconds. And the position is gonna be 350 pixels difference. Uh, 816 minus 355, 466, 466, 466, yes. Okay, so same thing, we're going to do the same for the other one. Uh, two seconds move. To 466. 466. Oh wait, did I get the other coordinates correct? 199, right? 199. Four ninety nine, four ninety nine. Yes, I'm very particular about this. Okay, so going back to the script, here we have is uh, two players can enter to disable and then unknowingly re-enable when one exits. So yeah, with this is a the first part. Player, but with multiple players, two can enter to disable and then unknowingly re-enable when one exits, causing a. Okay, looks good for now with a single player but with multiple players two can enter to disable and then unknowingly re-enable when one single player but with multiple players two can enter to disable and then un okay so that's taking too long two seconds of uh, animation is too long Uh, 13675 right we started here let's try a uh, one and a half seconds of animation instead one and a half second uh 425 yes uh, they're a little too far but let's uh 361.5 uh, one six one five. Okay, this looks good. Okay, and uh, I want to put in the uh, icon three point five when they just enter in. So we're gonna put in the uh, same disable the blocking icon. Where is it? This is the one. Yes, I remember. Let me copy that.
Okay, we're gonna... Nope. Undo, undo, undo. Okay, let me just lock it so that uh, we won't click on it accidentally. Okay, so I want to show this. Uh, where do I show? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm just going to change the color. I'm just going to change the color of the uh, rectangle instead. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, how should I change it? Should I change it to red immediately? I think changing the color immediately makes for a more... For a more um, good effect. So let's do that. Okay, so you shall be red. RGB, right? R255 here and 0 here. Okay, looking good. So let's let's see how, how it, this works. At all with a single player. But with multiple players, two can enter to disable and then unknowingly re-enable when one exits. Okay, looking good. So we are doing this. <laughs> We've gotten this first part. We are going to re-enable with one guy walking out. Let's, let's do that. Knowingly re-enable when one exits. When... Okay, I'm going to animate on the word one. But with multiple players, two can enter to disable and then unknowingly re-enable when one... So at 141, the other guy is going to walk out 141. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so 141, this guy is going to be walking out. Let me remove that. Okay, let me remove the flip as well. Uh, okay, he's going to be moving 350 pixels away, one and a half second, right? So, okay, this doesn't look right for now, but I assure you it will. 350 pixels away, um, 816449, 816, 816, 449. Okay, 350 pixels back is uh, 466. Okay, good. Here we go. Hey, Zana guy, what's up? Peculiar at we are making a single player. Doing the video editing. But with multiple players, two can enter to disable and then unknowingly re enable when one exits, causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcement. Okay, that, that like, looks good. Uh, 775 is going to go green again, so we are going to show it becoming green, right? Where's the uh, rectangle? Yep, uh, Zenagai, uh, today we are making the video live on the spot. Okay. Okay, so we are doing this scene, we're doing when two player enters. Uh, shoot, what did I do? Okay, so we're doing when two player enters, it disables. Oh, it's morning for you. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by so early in the morning. Yep, ask away. If I can answer, I would. Okay, so now we're doing the disable. Two players enter to disable, and when one player walks out, enables. Let's see how it goes. Did we do a good job with it? Player walks out. Wait, how is that peculiar? Well, it doesn't sound peculiar at all with a single player. But with multiple players, two can enter to disable and then unknowingly re-enable when one exits, causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Okay, I'm gonna make... Okay, so, so although it's not included here, I'm gonna make this guy fade out when it says... Um, so it's best to have just one player doing this. Yeah, I'm going to make that icon disappear. 
Okay, if both are blocked, the helicopter will not spawn. Simple as that. Yeah, if both are blocked, nothing will spawn. The, the announcement will still come on, but uh, nothing will spawn. <laughs> yep. So that answer is, answers it. What happens if you block both zones? The helicopter will not spawn. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I I did not I did not exactly answer that in this in the script. So yeah. we have just one player doing this reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player. Okay, one. If RNG picks reinforcements, so it's best to have just one. Okay, so at 48, either at 48, uh, wait, 148, I'm going to have the other icon um, start to disappear. Okay, uh, let's add two seconds of duration to this and fade him out. Okay, let's try that. Picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Okay, that's taking too long. So let's uh, let it fade one second earlier. To disable and then unknowingly re-enable when one exits, causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Of course, no same player will wait on the roof for the entire 5 minutes. Just don't forget to come back up before the helicopter spawns. Okay, so now we are... No same player will wait on the roof for 5 minutes. Okay, we're gonna put a new video clip to here. Disable, and then unknowingly re-enable when one exits, causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Of course, no same player will wait on the roof for the entire 5 minutes. Just Okay, so by 1.55, we want to have the other clip coming in. Uh, let's go for 1.52. Alright. Wow, it, it, it's, it's, you're up early and the first thing you're going <laughs> to... You're going to test a mod. How, how about breakfast? You're not going to go for breakfast yet. Or oh, making mods is, is your breakfast. Uh, is your breakfast. <laughs> okay, so now we want a uh, warehouse to helicopter. So this clip goes on here. Simple as that. Fade in two seconds. As well as auto brighten. Okay, let's see the timing. Oh, it's a kind of cereal, huh? Uh, we don't have honeycombs here, but yeah, we have honey Causing stars. Causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Of course, no same player will wait on the roof for the entire 5 minutes. Just don't forget to come back up before the helicopter spawns. But if this trick feels too much like a cheat. Uh, does the timing feel right? Causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Of course, no same player will wait on the roof for the entire... Okay, uh, almost good. Let's try one second earlier. Causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Of course, no same player will wait on the roof for the entire 5 minutes. Just don't forget to come back up before the helicopter spawns. But if this trick feels too much like a cheat, we can always leave it up to RNG. In any case, what happens next is to secure the warehouse. And a quick... Okay, so... Um, 209... 209... Okay, I need to cut the clip a fair bit because uh, it's not... <laughs> Well, some people think of it as a cheat, so... I mean, if you think of it as a cheat, you could just leave it to RNG. 
Okay, let's see if the Causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. Uh, based on So it's best to have just one player doing this. Of course, no same player will wait on the roof for the entire 5 minutes. Just don't forget to come back up before the helicopter spawns. But if this trick feels too much like a cheat, we can always leave it up to RNG. In any case, what happens next is to secure the warehouse. And a quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. So how many guards are there in the... Uh, the Payday community is pretty huge actually. We have a lot of different kind of players. Um, I, I try to ignore them mostly. Yeah, just, there's just too many different people. So I'll just do my own stuff. Okay, so did I want to... Should I cut? Okay, let me cut more of this clip. To see if that makes sense. No, actually not. Um, okay, let me just try that again. I have just one player doing this. Okay, I can't decide what to do with the clip. So let's move on to the next one first. That let, let us move on to putting the image in first. Maybe that would help me to decide which part of the clip I want to cut. So I want this to, become, to come in at... Uh, Two minutes nine seconds okay let's try that we have just one player doing this of course no same player will wait on the roof for the entire five minutes just don't forget to come back up before the helicopter spawns but if this trick feels too much like a cheat we can always leave it up to our energy in any case what happens next is to secure the warehouse and a quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious. Oh, uh, yes, definitely. Um, yeah, definitely I could. Once I start doing that, I, I won't be recording it yet. Uh, the explanation video doesn't, is, I'm not going to have any uh, recordings of it. Um, but when uh, there were, there's at least one other heist where we could do that glitch. So yeah, I'll definitely check with you when we are when when to do that. Yep. Okay, let me let me just see whether this clip is one player doing this. Of course, no same player will wait on the roof for the entire five minutes. Just don't forget to come back up before the helicopter spawns. But if this trick feels too much, okay, maybe I'll remove because the that that part of the clip has a lot of um. I, I'm not in the helipad, so maybe I do do not want to cut too much of that. Okay, so I would have extra... Okay, let's see. One player doing this. Of course, no... Oh, I can tell you that Golden Green works. It <laughs> it works for Golden Green. Um, okay, so, so, so far there are... I think a total of six highs that has that um, blocks objectives, uh, blocks ECM rushing of objectives, uh, which two you have already found, car shop and yard highs. Uh, this works for golden green. Um, for which part? Okay, so you could ECM rush by opening the security room right at the start killing all the five guards, hack the computer and uh, opening the code. Basically, basically right at the start, if you have four players, uh, you could open up the security room, ECM open up the security room and then go for, just go straight for the box to skip everything else. Skip the key card, skip the uh, blueprints and everything. Yeah. That, that works for Golden Green Eye. Calculated the timing and and tested. Uh, just need for for a full team to record it. Uh, and for the other heist that could possibly work is. 
Scarface Mansion. Yeah, but that one is a little, a little bit tricky because you have to stealth the uh, outer part first before ECM rushing. And I'm not sure if there's enough time to ECM rush the whole thing. Because you still have to um, uh, search the map. Search the map, um, answer the phone, queue Sosa and uh, open up the vault. So it could it could be used to rush that part, but yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, it doesn't work. Does it work or it doesn't? Uh, maybe I could try that out sometime. Ah, uh, yeah, but it definitely works with Golden Green. <laughs> so so you could actually finish Golden Green in five minutes with a full team or, or actually even less i think four minutes you could rush golden green four players with four minutes yeah uh no problem i'll be testing that out but i yeah i, I don't think it's feasible because there are too many objectives one player doing this of course no same player will wait on the roof for the entire five minutes just don't forget to come back up before the helicopter spawns but if this trick feels too much like a cheat, we can always leave it up to RNG. In any case, what happens next is to secure the warehouse. And a quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by us. Okay. And a quick recap to... Okay, so here, when the... I'm going to put a big exclamation mark when the script reaches suspicious. So, yep. Oh yes, definitely. Uh, which means hacking of the uh, the laptop, right? Yeah. I mean, the, okay. So so the thing is that if okay, the thing with with Scarface mentioned is that it's a bit tricky because it's scripted to have Sosa go loud if everybody on the map is uh, alerted, even though stealth is not broken. So it's kind of tricky to to really ECM rush this. I mean, if you already if you have a strategy to ECM rush it without triggering that script, you may as well just stealth it properly, right? It's too much work to um, even do that. So yeah, I don't see the point of trying to ECM rush Scarface with this glitch. Okay, so we're trying to show an exclamation mark on the word suspicious. Why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious. Okay, so about two one, two one three. Two one three, big huge, ex huge exclamation mark. Is this is this a? Uh... Okay, let's try this. Okay, so oh, undo. Okay, let me lock it. Uh, so it doesn't. Okay, I could make this disappear. No, I I need to make this disappear. Okay. Okay, now it's time for this part. Okay, the vault is suspicious, so it's uh, exclamation mark, here we go. Just that I'm gonna like probably put it somewhere here. And in red, red color please, red. Uh, where should I put it here? Right in the center. Okay, <laughs> let's let's try that out. Causing a nasty surprise if RNG picks reinforcements. So it's best to have just one player doing this. Of course, no same player will wait on the roof for the entire five minutes. Just don't forget to come back up before the helicopter spawns. But if this trick feels too much like a cheat, we can always leave it up to RNG. 
In any case, what happens next is to secure the warehouse. And a quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious and will... Okay, almost, almost. Let me just uh, do a little bit of delay. A quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious A quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious. No, it's, it's a little too late. Um, I'm trying to add a little bit of delay. A quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across all... Okay, so the next scene will be, so how many guards are there exactly? So we are going to be doing this, but we are running out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trans do the transition and then we will stop here. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? <laughs> oh, I could do that as well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Xenagai, you are, you have given me a very good suggestion. Okay, let me see. Do I have a cutout, a proper cutout for that? Uh, if I do not have, oh yes, I could, I could use this one. I could use this one. <laughs> that is a very good suggestion, Xenagai. Suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard will eventually be, be spotted, spotted by a patrolling guard. Okay, well, to do so is eventually because an open be spotted. vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted. Okay, so 212115 or something like that. 2115 and a half. Okay, let, let me let me just do this first. Uh okay, let's let's get the murky in. Okay, here we go. Uh, he's a little dark, so let's increase his brightness. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, not really. Yes, but that is a very good suggestion. Okay, let me just change the brightness. Uh, 20? No, 10, 5, 5. Oh. I have no idea how to use these values. Okay, this this should be fine. Let's let's adjust his height, his size. Okay, that's too big. Uh, Five hundred. Oh, I could slide him in with a blue one, and then when he stops, it becomes a ex uh, red. Exclamation mark. Okay, so here we go. Um, uh, let, let me just do a reverse of the slide first. So sliding, let's just put it at one second for now. One second. Um, uh, I want it to be 600. 600 pixels, 640 pixels away. 640 uh yep need to use this 984 plus 640 1624 1624 okay let me go 984 429 984 429 and it starts from 1624 1624 so he's gonna start there and it's gonna slide in is because an open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. Okay, that is moving too fast. Let's go for two seconds. And will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. Okay, I would like to make it slower actually. Let's try three seconds. Oh wait, let, 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 let me change um, the picture, let me... 
<laughs> yes, 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 yes. That looks good. Uh, where's my regular murky stand stealth unalerted? Okay, so I'm using this picture first. Be spotted first. by a patrolling guard. So how many guards are... Okay, three seconds is too long. Two seconds is too short. Two and a half. Two and a half. It's suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. So how many guards are there? Uh, now two, two and a half seconds is too long. How about two to five? Suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. Suspicious and will eventually be spotted. Okay, let's try a different timing. Four, seven, five. I want him to come into the picture at suspicious and will eventually be spotted by. Oh wait, what? Suspicious and will eventually be. Sp whoa, whoa! What the hell? Ah, uh, wait. Undo, undo. <laughs> I messed up his the coordinates. Okay, so four, seven. Five. And will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. Um, yep. Yeah. An open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by. Okay, just a little bit more. Uh, I could just shift his. Shift the uh, coordinates instead. Uh, whatever. An open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. So how many guards are there in the web by a patrolling guard? An open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. Okay, that, that works, that works. Okay, uh... I'm trying to get... Okay, so in this case, um, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to move, put a question mark on him, right? But because he is a picture on his own, if I put a question mark, it's not going to appear. Um, I have to animate the question mark. So to do not animate the, the question mark as well, what I can do is I can create a container. I could create a uh, container. Uh, let me just make it invisible first. Transparent, transparent. Baron. Okay, so I'm gonna make a uh, a container for for use and move the container instead. Uh, I'm not sure if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this guy in here. I'm gonna cut the movement and throw it here as well. Will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. Okay, so that works. Uh, why is the rectangle at the wrong height? Okay. Will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. Okay, that works. That works. Uh, let me just go out to this guard and let me just add the text in. Okay, I'm gonna have two of these, right? So. Uh, same size as parent, but not really. That's huge. Uh, that's too small now. Oh, uh, uh, that's too big. Hundred. Okay, this is good. change the um, color and stuff should I even have this text color blue right blue no this blue is a bit weird okay let's put some transparency um, no, 
not exactly. Okay, it looks better this way. Uh, now we are just going to adjust. Just going to adjust the position a little. <laughs> okay, this looks good right now. So, um, okay, so once he slides in, we are going to wait. What is this? Uh, 2.25. So, 2.25, 225. We are going to change the picture to alerted one. Okay, going to duplicate this too. Okay, let me just ex increase this a little. Okay, let me change the picture back to um, the uh, stand aim forward, yes. Okay, so the positioning looks good. I can close it. Uh, the brightness is a little off though. Uh, brightness a little more. 7, 10. Okay, brightness is good. The text is a little. Why is the position off? Okay, no matter, let's change this one to um, red. Oh, we are close to. <laughs> okay, let's let's see the animation now. And a quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Oh wait, okay. So okay, so that looks good. For um, I may have to adjust the timing a little bit, but but yeah, concept is the concept is there. Yep. The concept is there. Yes. Awesome suggestion there, is that a guy? <laughs> okay, let's let's finish adjusting the. Um... It is because an open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across all difficulties, there will always be one camera in the warehouse. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across... Okay, so I'm just gonna finish up with... Uh, to fade this out, and then we will end the um, editing here. Okay, uh, generic video, no, not generic, 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 uh, template videos, yes. Okay, so I'm just going to fade this in. Okay, let's see the timing, if the timing matches. In any case, what happens next is to secure the warehouse. And a quick recap to why we would want to do so is because an open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. So how many guards are... Uh, what... Uh, what feels wrong? ...is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. Okay, what, what feels wrong here? I think it's the... Uh, let me increase the time a little. Maybe make it a little slower. That would work. Open vault is suspicious and will eventually be spotted by a patrolling guard. So how okay, many guards that, are there in perfect. the warehouse exactly? Across all difficulties, there will always be. Okay, so so this part is perfect. Awesome. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across all difficulties. 
Okay, this uh, maybe come in half a second earlier. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across all... So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across... Okay, I can't decide. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across all... Okay, one final one and... So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across all difficulties, there will always be one camera guard. Okay, that looks good. Uh, let's finish up here. And end the stream. Okay, let me just do a quick check. Okay, looks good. Uh, okay, I just need to add darkening and, and, and blurring. And we'll be good. So usually I always do a minus 30. And um, blurring, where is the filter? Blur. Okay, one last check and then we'll finish up. I a patrolling guard. So how many guards are there in the warehouse exactly? Across all difficulties, there will always be one camera guard. Okay, this 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 isn't right. Okay, I'll, I'll keep this for the next stream to work on. And yep, just gonna pause the timer here. Control and pause. Okay, so we have spent one hour, 52 and 52 minutes on editing so far. And uh, well, in the, uh, in the storyboard, now we are working on this part. There's gonna be a second page of stuff, of course. But yep, yeah. I estimate one one more session. One more session, we will be able to finish everything. One, uh, two more, one or one to two more sessions actually. Yes. Okay, so yep, yeah, gonna end the stream here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, hope this session has been less boring than the previous ones. Thanks, Zeta guy. Thanks, Kong, and everyone else who is watching. And I'll see you guys in the next session. Have a good day.